Hey guys, welcome back to Red Devil TV. Man United versus Leeds away from home this time. Earlier on this season, we know what happened. 5-1 at home. Bruno got a hat-trick in that game. What do I expect in this game? Look, I fully expect Pogba to play. I think it would be a crime if Ranić chooses not to play Pogba. Pogba, uh, look, in that game he shined against Leeds. I think he got three assists in that game, wasn't it? And look, it's, it's been a while now since Pogba's had an assist. Well, he's had one against uh, for Bruno uh, the other day against... Um, Brighton but I think Pogba needs to play in this game there's talks you know obviously, obviously Leeds have a lot of pace they like to play open they leave themselves open and this is why I think you need to play Pogba will you play him on the left like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did earlier on this season against Leeds and McFred played in the middle you still had Bruno and Pogba playing in the same team but Pogba was playing on the left I think there's a good opportunity that Pogba will be integrated into the, into this team tomorrow I just do think he might be implemented on the left so when I go into the lineup, what I really think is going to happen is I think he's going to play on the left wing. We could see Bruno go on to the right and you can still implement Sancho on the left because I think right now Sancho is a vital player in this team. So I think what 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 look, what, what Ranić could do is put Bruno on the right. We haven't seen that before, you know, crosses would be coming in a lot more from the low and Bruno. Um, you know, Sancho's been playing on the left most of the time and he's been cutting in passing and, um, you know, setting up opportunities for himself as well. So I think what could happen in this game is we could see either Bruno or Pogba on the wing. So look, in terms of the lineup, let's talk about what should happen. This thing about the, the captaincy, it should have been changed a long time ago. Maguire shouldn't even be captain anyway. Um, Maguire is not a captain. He shouldn't even be starting. That's the thing. And look, I hope he doesn't start this game. And naturally, since he's not starting, someone else will get the, the, the armband. And that will be Ronaldo or Bruno. And I think it should be Ronaldo. Look, I think in defence, I think it should be... It, look, I'm going to put a mixture of what Rannick's going to do and what I would do, right? Lindelof should play. Varan should be back, hopefully, from his illness. Luke Shaw hasn't been great. I'll play Tellers in the low at fullback. Honestly, I think Luke Shaw has been terrible. Out of position, not offering much. And he, he doesn't work as hard as Tellers. I don't know. Everyone talks about working hard. And, you know, well, that's why Fred and, and McTominay play. And, yeah, I mean, it's it's not it doesn't solve all the issues, um, but I would say that Telles can hold the ball better than both our midfielders in McTominay and Fred. They lose the ball multiple times, and we saw it against Brighton. And I think, in terms of the midfield, I think McTominay and Fred will play. I wouldn't, well, would I? As long as I can see Pogba and Bruno in the team, I would be interested to see Bruno on the right or Pogba on the left, um, but I still want to see Sancho in that team. So what I would do possibly is play McFred and Bruno. So, you know, we can have... Look, Fred has the best... Um, tackle percentage in the whole team he's tackling the most he's intercepting the most but then again I saw those stats and I thought how many times does he lose the ball after he he intercepts another one after he's on the ball and he, and he retrieves the ball he loses it again um I think similar with McTominay so I would still play them you know break up the play um they have a lot more energy they'll track back better than Pogba and Bruno um that's why I play McFred I'll play Bruno I'll play Pogba possibly on the left wouldn't mind seeing Bruno on the right but I'll possibly play Pogba on the left, put Sancho on the right and put Ronaldo up top. I, th I think that's that, that's what should be done. I think Rannick might drop Pogba for this game. And he might just go over Langa and Sancho and Ronaldo and McFred and Bruno in the middle. I think that's what he might do. I hope Pogba plays in this game. He's such a difference maker. When he came on, you saw the unbelievable passes that he puts in through into our forward line that no one else can do. Um... The captaincy, again, this is a situation that should have been changed a long time ago. Ronaldo should have been captain a long time ago. As soon as he came to this club, he should have been captain. What can Maguire teach to, to these other players that, you know, honestly, what can he tell Ronaldo that he should do in a game? We're talking about someone who's won five Champions Leagues. He's won La Liga. He's won the Champions League with Man United. He's won a European Championship with Portugal. I don't understand where the comparison is or even the debate. But at this point, Maguire shouldn't even be starting, let's be completely honest. So, whatever. It clearly, Rannick stated in this press conference that, you know, Maguire's captain until the end of the season. And I think they want to avoid this negative energy as long as possible. And look, whether Rannick will remain manager, will he change the captain? Possibly. I think he's looking for a centre-back. If he's to stay as manager, he'll look for a striker and he'll possibly look for a full-back. Honestly, uh, and a midfielder. I mean, there's a couple of areas in this team which we need change. Um... I think the low has done well in the last couple of games. I just think, you know, whoever's playing on the right is not really helping him. I think when Sancho's on the right, he, he links up a lot better with the low. Um, so, look, I think Tellers will come back in. wan where's wan going to come back in? I think there's a good chance he might come in, come in back in against Atletico away from home. But are you just going to 
put him in a game like that, so important, where he hasn't played at all in the, in the last few weeks. You know, I think his last game was in the FA Cup, wasn't it? So I think it's going to be a tough one for Wan-Bissaka to come back in. I think the low's going to remain in the spot for a while now. Um, so look, in terms of the Leeds game, I think Leeds are going to be very open. You know, away from home, it's going to be a tough one. The crowd is going to be crazy. I really expect Man United to turn up. And against Brighton, we weren't great in that first half and we saw what happened. We got overrun in the midfield. Um, look, there was no link again from the midfield in the attack. There was nothing there. Our defence was, our defense was quite solid. Um, I won't put any blame on Maguire or, or Lindelof in that game. Lindelof was definitely a bit better than Maguire. You saw Lindelof always stepping out, looking for those forward passes. Maguire just slowing the ball. Every time I see Maguire on the ball, I just get nervous. And it's the same with McFred, to be completely honest with you. And I'm really excited to see what Ralph goes with in this team. Cavani again injured. Um, some people think Cavani is a better number nine for this team. I highly disagree. Um, honestly, I, I think right now we're at a point where we see that CR7 is not the problem in this team. He's honestly not. He, of course, it's his problem when he's missing chances. I mean, that Brighton game, we could have had a hat-trick and another two assists, which obviously the assists are not his fault. They should have been buried. But I think I think this time of the season, I think he's going to step up and he's going to start scoring vital goals like he did in the beginning of the season. So, look, in terms of this game, what am I going to go for? I'm going to go for a 3-0. I, I, I don't think we'll concede. We haven't been conceding many goals. But we haven't been scoring much either. Um, you know, that goal against Brighton was a last-minute goal. I think I think against the Leeds will give us the opportunity to score more. Set us up perfectly for Atletico Madrid. I can't, do to, can't wait to do a preview for that game. Um, Atletico is going to be a tough game. And like I said, when Bissaka, there's an argument he should start there. McFred will definitely start against Atletico. Where's Pogba going to fit in? But in terms of Leeds, let's stick with Leeds. It's going to be a wide-open game. I feel like it's going to be a game like the like the beginning of the season. I think it's going to be a very high-scoring game. I'm going to go over 3-0. Um, and again, this thing with Cavani. Cavani is going to go in the summer. We're going to need a striker. Who knows what's happening with Greenwood. Um, I, I just really want to see our best players start until the end of the season. People are saying about dropping players, bringing in Lingard, bringing in players that haven't played much this season and bring, bringing in Wan-Bissaka back. Even Henderson. There's people who want to argue about bringing Henderson over De Gea when De Gea has by far been our player of the season. Um, so, look, for me, just play the best team. Play the Sanchos, play play the Ronaldos, play the Brunos, play the Pogba's. Even if if they're in bad form, they're our best players. And even though someone like Elanga might make the difference, I think Elanga's been a bit quiet. I think you can see that there's a raw talent in Elanga and I think there's something missing there. And um, I still think he's doing a better job than Rashford. When, Rashford. when Rashford came on against Brighton, he kept losing the ball. I think Rashford... I think he's trying too hard, Rashford, honestly. And, and I, would, I would rather see Alanga and Sancho stay um, in, the, in their positions, to be completely honest with you. But I do want to see Sancho more on the right. I think there's a lack of crosses from the right. Rashford can't cross. We've seen it. His technique that he uses to cross is almost like a shooting technique. Uh, like he knuckles it. Um, so, I, look, I want to see our best player start. And that's it. So, let me know what you think. What do you think the, the score is going to be against Leeds? We need a win here. We definitely need a win to get top four. Arsenal have games in hand. Tottenham have games in hand. So let me know what you think. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.